Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you Fermi energy level calculation for extrinsic semiconductor material. In my last video, I have explained you how we can have calculation of Fermi energy level for intrinsic semiconductor material. You can observe that in that video, I have derived equation for Fermi energy level for intrinsic semiconductor material as well as we have seen basic discussion on this Fermi energy level for intrinsic semiconductor material, right? Here in this video, I'll explain you Fermi energy level for extrinsic semiconductor material. In extrinsic, there are two categories, n-type semiconductor as well as p-type semiconductor. So here, I'll derive Fermi energy level for n-type as well as p-type. Let us see first how things are there with n-type semiconductor material. See, in n-type semiconductor material, we add pentavalent impurities. So here you can say we are adding donor impurities. Let me note down that after that I will do derivation step by step. In n-type semiconductor material, concentration of electrons that will be donor impurities, right? And here concentration of electron that we have already derived in my last videos, what is that? That is Nc into e to the power minus of ec minus ef divided by kt and this is equals to nd so now as if i take this nc on other side so i can say this e to the power minus now let me convert that into e to the power plus right so you will be having this e to the power term that is equals to nc by nd why the reason is see this nc that is going in denominator but now this is e to the power minus i'm making it to plus so this will be nc by nd now to have this term in terms of ec minus ef let us take natural log with both of the sides so here you will be having ec minus ef by kt that is equals to ln nc by nd so you can say this EC minus EF, this is KT into ln NC by ND. See here this NC that is material constant and if you want to calculate that NC then you can say this NC is 2 into 2 pi KT into mass of electron divided by H square raised to 3 by 2. See this is how this NC calculation can be done and this ND is donor impurities, right. So for pentavalent, you will be having N-type semiconductor material where we are adding pentavalent impurities that is donor impurities. Now if you observe this EC minus EF in energy band diagram, then you can observe here. See this is Fermi energy level for N-type semiconductor material in which you will be observing this Fermi energy that is getting shifted towards conduction band and here what we are calculating we are calculating this difference EC minus EF right that EC minus EF that is KT into ln NC by ND that is what the case which we are calculating over here. So here see this difference that is EC minus EF this difference that is EC minus EF that is kt into ln nc by nd right that is what the case which we are calculating where ef is fermi energy level now same thing that we can calculate for p type semiconductor material so as if you talk about p type semiconductor material so in that we are adding trivalent impurities so in p type semiconductor material we are adding trivalent impurities trivalent impurities means what in trivalent impurities we are adding acceptor impurities so here concentration of holes in valence band that will be the acceptor impurities right in n type we are adding donor impurities in p type we are adding acceptor impurities that concentration of holes in valence band that also we have derived what is that that is nv into e to the power minus of ef minus ev by kt that is equals to na right this is what 
concentration of holes right in valence band where nv is material constant let us simplify this so you can say e to the power ef minus ev by kt so now that will be you see now i am writing e to the power plus so this nv will go on other side so that will be na by nv but if i make e to the power minus 2 plus then this will become nv by na now to have this term in terms of ef minus ev i'll take natural log on both of the sides so i'll be having ef minus ev by kt that is equals to ln nv by na and now we can have ef minus ev that is kt into ln nv by na as i have told you this nv is what nv is material constant right and how to have a calculation of it so where you can say nv is 2 into 2 pi kt into mass of whole that is mp divided by s square raised to 3 by 2 that is how we can calculate nv so this is what ef minus ev right and here we are talking about p type semiconductor material if you observe p type semiconductor materials energy band diagram then you see this fermi energy level this fermi energy level that is tilted towards valence band so here what we are calculating you see here we are calculating this difference that is ef minus ev and that we have derived you see ef minus ev that is kt ln nv by na right so here we are calculating this difference that is what is that difference that is ef minus ev that is kt into ln nv by na right and here you should know what is the value of nv where nv is 2 into 2 pi kt into mass of whole divided by h square raised to 3 by 2 see this is how things are there now here there are a few basic things that you need to note down i have seen questions are coming in competitive examination as well based on this sometimes they may ask you like as if you are having travel and impurities so in that case what will be what will be energy of fermi level with respect to valence energy level so in that situation what you are calculating is you are calculating energy of fermi level for trivalent means here you will be calculating ef minus e and that will be this right sometimes they may add pentavalent impurities so in that case you will have to understand your energy band for pentavalent that will be like this where ec minus ef that you will be calculating so based on question we need to understand what is given and what has to be calculated over here right so this basics that should be clear to you first how this formula is there and once you know this formula you can apply to the questions right but first you need to understand how things are there again you need to remember one thing see with n type semiconductor material this fermi energy level that will be nearer to conduction band right and in p type semiconductor material this fermi energy that will be nearer to valence band and this difference that we are calculating by this formulas if you observe if you observe intrinsic semiconductor material so in that fermi level that will be somewhere nearer to middle of this ec and ev so i have told you Practically, when you calculate by your calculator, at the time it will be EC plus EV by 2 only. But here, that deviation that depends on this parameter that I have told you. Right. That's why I have told you there can be question like for silicon. As we know, mass of hole that is lower than mass of electron. In that situation, silicon is having Fermi level which is a bit lower compared to EC plus EV by 2 as this is negative. With gallium arsenide, this mp is greater than mn so in that situation this second term that will be positive which leads to fermi level which is bit above come with which is bit above with respect to ec plus ev by 2 why the reason is this second term is positive that is how things are there so in competitive examination this type of questions frequently come at a time your basics will be tested and based on that you can easily reply to the questions i hope you are 
having now basic foundation related this still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in the comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this